Shalom, Yasharallah, Shalom, Wam. Something that's currently going on now, which is a huge cut to Esau's bullshit, is uh, the Redskins. And the, so the so-called Redskins NFL team and the so-called um, Cleveland Indians um, Major League Baseball team amongst uh, uh, several other professional sports organizations who have decided to name themselves a byword and a proverb a bunch of intentional devils and you put it on your kids t-shirt and you put it on your children's head and you From the idea of cutting, to penetrate, to break in upon. Huh. They finally won their case. Eh. The signification of lot and fortune. And with the limited publicity this humongous event is getting, makes sense but it just goes to show they're trying to block out the significance of a lot and fortune all right because it took them a lot of legal fees to win this because there's people upset and particularly the Redskins I grew up with them in my whole life and that name always it always was weird to see it you know all the other teams are named after animals or whatever but this team here has like the uh, Indian head you know seeing it from the TV I used to always think it was just like a feather and some circles and when you finally saw it you know that stuck with you it's the same image they put on the gold coins in the United States of America whoever Whoever hasn't realized that all Esau does and the other confederate nations do are make graven images and molten images. And, and what else is on uh, metallic money? Those are your quarters with George Washington's head, people's heads. You look at uh, different coins in other countries, you know, you got pandas, uh, maybe even a uh, crustacean. Uh, you know, you got the American Eagle, all right, Various and that's molten, you know, that's engraved, it's like approved, chiseled away, and, sent to the engraving and department of the mint. they make a mold out of it. Here, an artist is putting the lettering and finishing touches on the original clay model of a medal bearing the likeness of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. To make a mold From out of it, it's like a prototype a in a larger form, and finished by hand. so it's workable, and, in turn, this is used and to then make a hard metal form. engrave, an engraver, wow. A professional engraver. You know, there's many of them that are getting paid too much. Just leave the work of the Most High alone. They ain't working your magic no more. All right, Esau, it's it's withering away. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Genesis 49 and 19. God, 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 Yah, your God, a quad. What we're looking for are hooks and jaw. And you will find in Ezekiel, but I will put hooks in thy jaws. But I will put hooks in thy jaws, and I will cause the fish of thy rivers to stick unto thy scales. And I will cause the fish, the ga, that's where you get the old Canaanite deity Dagon, that fish god, Hebrews 17.10, of thy rivers to stick the bach, alright, to cling, stick, stay close, cleave, keep close, stick to, stick with, follow closely, join to, overtake, catch, to cleave, to adhere, especially firmly, as if with glue, to be glued, so what are thy skills?
thy scales are quashaquashes, quashaquashes, which means scale of fish or water animals. All right, a scale from its peeling off. But I will put hooks in thy jaws, and I will cause the fish in thy rivers to stick under thy scales, and I will bring thee up out of the midst of thy rivers, and all thy fish in thy rivers shall stick unto thy scales. So literally he's talking about a water animal, so to speak, but a uh, beast, if you will, and putting hooks into its jaws. All right, what is the hook? Something in the song, right? What does it mean in Hebrew? Chuck. Hook, ring, fetter, brooch, a hook, a chain, or a bracelet. What did the Most High say he's going to put around the serpent? All right. So, you remember the guy? Uh, what's his name? Paul Revere. I believe that was his name. He said the red coats are coming. The red coats coming. The, the he was a red coat now back to the red skin issue in the scriptures in Genesis chapter 36 you can look up Esau's name or excuse me Edom and that means red alright Adawam Yom means redites or uh, rare meat now, think of it this way. All your stuff's going to be a collector's item, but it'll be an offensive collector's item, and that creates a bigger problem. People's racism switch is going to finally turn on. And that's in that day I will cause the horn of the house of Israel to bud forth, and I will give thee the opening of the mouth in the midst of them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Bayawam Hawa A Tazamayak Waran Labayath Yasharala Walak Athan Pathahwan Paha Bathwakam Wa Yadaiwa Kaya Anya Yahawa Ezekiel 38 and 16, and thou shalt come up against my people of Yasharala as a cloud to cover the land. It shall be in the latter days, and I will bring thee against my land, that the heathen may know me, when I shall be sanctified in thee, O Gog, before their eyes. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, art thou he of whom I have spoken in old time by my servants the prophets of Israel? which prophesied in those days many years that I would bring thee against them. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. Ezekiel 38 and 21 And it will call for a sword against him throughout all my mountains, saith the Lord Yahweh, every man's sword shall be against his brother. Ezekiel 38 and 22, and I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many people that are with him, an overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Ezekiel 38 and 23, thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself. And I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know that I am Yahweh.